Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, December the 3rd. It's the first week in Advent and the scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verse 43 to 50, and 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11 to 18. And please join me in singing the third verse of Come Thou Long Expected Jesus by Charles Wesley to the tune of Stuttgart. Born your people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever, now your gracious kingdom bring. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you have delivered me from the strife of the people. Alleluia, Psalm 18, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you have delivered me from the strife of the people, and you have made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves to me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid when out of their strongholds. God most high lives, blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is you, my God, that avenges me and subdues the peoples under me. You deliver me from my enemies. You lift me above those that rise against me. You deliver me from the violent. And therefore I give thanks to you among the heathen and sing praises to your name. Great deliverance have you granted your king, and you show your mercy to David and to David's children forevermore. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You have delivered me from the strife of the people. Alleluia. A reading, the conclusion of the second letter of Peter, chapter 3, beginning at verse 11. Since all these things are to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire? But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace without spot or blemish and regard the patience of our most high Lord as salvation. So also our beloved brother, Paul wrote to you according to the wisdom given him speaking of this as he does in all his letters. There are some things in them hard to understand, which the ignorant and the unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do with other scriptures. You therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, beware that you are not carried away with the error of the lawless and lose your own stability, but grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, both now 
and to the day of eternity. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We exalt you, O God, for only in you do we find our salvation. Lift us high above all adversity. Grant us your love and peace always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.